Reporting to you live from Blue Jays Fan Fest at the outfield of the Rogers Center. It's live from last week. Episode 124. Let's go! my fellow cheer walkers to another episode of live from last week hope last week has served you well just a quick shameless plug before we go on want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel so just doing a quick rewind to last night after going to the blower in Ossington area for some Lalibella's for dinner the wife and I went through this McDonald's drive through to try out their new limited edition McFlurry to today we were trying to burn off all those unnecessary calories going back to a couple weeks ago when we were all last there for the first time this month we're back at epic sports for another three hour badminton session <laughs> to this evening where we went to pick up some ramen at a local place that we haven't been to in a while getting takeout at the local Kintan ramen and chowing down on some Japanese food before we resume the evening but before we do that we have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today with the first birthday greeting going out to one of my university classmates from back in the day this birthday greeting goes out to you Alicia happy birthday Alicia Next up, a birthday greeting to one of my elementary school friends that I had back when I went to Mother Teresa. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Kevin. Happy birthday, Kevin. And last but not least, a birthday greeting to one of my fellow travelers who I had a stopover in Iceland with for 24 hours when our flight was delayed. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Natalie. Happy birthday, Nat. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. But moving on, tonight we're off to a place that I think I haven't been to in over a year. Using my shirt as a clue of which I haven't worn in months. To enjoy one of the highest grossing movies of the year so far. The one, the only, Super Mario Brothers movie. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Let's go! <laughs> Guys, what a great movie that was last night. Especially checking it out in 3D D-Box once again with these live action shots of us watching the movie inside the movie theater. And the best part being was the fact that Cineplex has this promo of 50% off slash buy one get one movie tickets for a limited time. So we were able to take advantage of this offer watching the movie in 3D D-Box at a fraction of the price. We also had this review of how the Super Mario Brothers movie went. Alright wife, what's your review of the Super Mario Brothers movie? Five mushrooms. <laughs> Five mushrooms. And go check it out in D-Box because the vibrations are crazy. <laughs> 
And after leaving the cinemas, we visited a local bubble tea place that we haven't checked out in a while to celebrate a belated National Bubble Tea Day, getting some bubble tea from the local Kung Fu Tea, and enjoying it from the comfort of our condo. Cheers. Woohoo! Woohoo! Oh, God. Moving on, on to today, where I was definitely feeling out of shape from that badminton session that we had yesterday. I was finally able, for the first time in over a month, go to the den and dust off the stationary bike to do a nice light one hour session on this baby before I go in for my first shift in a scheduled set of three night shifts tonight. But before we do that, we have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting off with one of my beach volleyball friends who I haven't had the opportunity to play alongside with him in the past couple of years. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Jason. Happy birthday, Jason. Next up, a birthday shout out to one of my other traveling friends who I'm remembering having a 24 hour layover in Iceland with a couple years back. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Vicky. Happy birthday, Vicky. We've also got a birthday shout out to one of my elementary school friends who I'm remembering played baseball and taught me how to throw a circle change up. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Brock. Happy birthday, Brock. And last but not least, a birthday shout out to one of my longtime coworkers who I'm remembering celebrating their Hello Kitty themed birthday party with several years back. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Michelle. Happy birthday, Michelle. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. Wow, what a constantly busy night shift that was last night. From trying to locate missing sleep medications, to being searched one extra patient on the floor, to having a patient that previously needed several IV attempts to reinsert an IV that went interstitial during shift change this morning. But with me being lucky enough to reinsert one before I went home, I definitely wasn't having my greatest days at work. But moving on, recalling this Facebook Marketplace purchase that I made around this time last year, well guys, it's finally time to break out that hat that has been sitting in the corner of the den over the past 12 months, just waiting to be used on this specific day. And on that note, I just want to wish all y'all out there a happy Star Wars Day. May the 4th be with you. As well, today, before I go in for my second of my three night shifts tonight, we have a quick birthday greeting to one of my childhood family friends who I'm remembering going to dance school with back when I was a youth. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Amy. Happy birthday, Amy. We've also got a birthday shout out to one of my favorite coworkers who I'm remembering whenever I see them, I greet them with this handshake. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Amanda. Happy birthday, Amanda. And last but not least, a quick birthday, well, half birthday greeting to the one and only, yours truly, me. Happy half birthday to me. I'm hoping that everybody that has their birthday slash half birthday today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays slash half birthdays this year. First of all, before we start, just like what I did at this time last year, exactly 365 days ago, with it being the 5th of May. As you guys can see here, I'm breaking out this traditional gear and wardrobe today and setting it back to outside where I have this greeting for you all. Happy Cinco de Mayo, guys. But to be honest, guys, today didn't start off so great. After yet another crazy and busy stressful night shift last night, where we were down to three RNs to cover the whole floor for the majority of the shift, which meant staff ratios of eight patients to one RN, I was so exhausted after my 13 hour shift to the point where I needed another one of my coping mechanisms. So throwing it back to this scene where I was able to break out the good old chocolate bar to make me feel better post night shift, this morning I did the exact same thing with this marvelous treat. Having a little bit of difficulty trying to open this baby up and finally taking out my frustrations on this delicious, delicious treat. But guys, in addition to all this, my commute, which is usually about 35 minutes to get home from work, was unfortunately for me about an hour as I was stuck in the legendary Toronto traffic. 
But while waiting there, I wanted to take advantage of the gridlock, start off my Cinco de Mayo on the right foot, and get some breakfast burritos from McDonald's. But my bad luck continued with me as when I opened the app, it looked like McDonald's didn't have any breakfast burritos available for purchase this morning. Either way, for the first time since this episode in the past, I did eventually go to McDonald's to pick up my post-stressful night shift Happy Meal to go. And once I got home, still pretty frustrated with my day, I broke out these babies for the first time in what seems like a long, long while, dusting them off and getting them from the den, and started to do some dumbbell exercises to vent off some steam that I was definitely holding on to, before finally being able to chow down, um, let's try that again with some better luck this time, before finally being able to chow down on my McDonald's Happy Meal breakfast. But moving on, on to this afternoon, after not being able to sleep adequately enough in between night night shifts once again, instead of laying in bed, I decided to go out for a nice Cinco de Mayo drive to get some burritos at a location that I haven't visited in a couple of months. Taking advantage of their $5 Cinco de Mayo burrito promotion, and just like how I compared burritos from last time, I did the exact same thing earlier today. Woo, another small burrito that is as big as half my face and a large burrito that is actually as big as my whole face. Woo, double burritos. And guys, to further celebrate Cinco de Mayo, I suspiciously went to my local no frills and took a celebratory video of me with five different mayos in the mayo aisle. Happy Cinco de Mayo once again. Anyways, before I go chow down on my burritos and go in for my third of my three night shifts tonight, I have a quick birthday greeting to a friend of mine back in my Wysig days who is also a fellow YouTuber. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Elena. Happy birthday, Elena. I'm hoping that you and your family at this time are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. So guys, after a better night shift last night, where the wife brought the mini downtown to pick me up from work this morning, we caught on TV the King of England's coronation ceremony before falling asleep post night shift for another underwhelming post night shift nap. And after not being able to fall back asleep this afternoon, the wife and I decided to make our way on a one hour trip driving to Saga to walk around and check out the blossom blooms at the local Korea Park. Saga home to visit the family and reunite ourselves playing with the puppy Sesame before going to a place for dinner that we haven't visited since this episode in the past. Meeting these robot sushi servers once again to go for all you can eat sushi at the one, the only 168 Sushi. But now on this beautiful Saturday night, before we wrap it up for this segment, I have a quick birthday shout out to one of my FGAR friends out there, of whom is an inspiration with his fitness progress and his runs that he's had in the past. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Yuli. Happy birthday, Yuli. I'm hoping that you and your family at this time are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. 
Man, what a day today was. Where I met up with my buddy Jason, who you guys remember, I went to Detroit to catch the Raptors game a couple months back to go with him to a Blue Jays season ticket holder event called the Blue Jays Fan Fest. Guys, I had so much fun this afternoon from eating sample after sample after sample after sample after sample after sample to also meeting once again the Blue Jays mascot Ace. Yo, it's Ace! Yeah! What? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> as well as meeting these famous anti Lee fans. We got what's his name? Herb. We got Herb and Danny. Danny. Nice, roll. <laughs> nice meeting Live. you guys. Woo. Nice. Alright, take care guys. All right. Who were actually supporting the correct Toronto team this time around. And as you guys saw in the music video earlier, I got the opportunity to play catch in the Blue Jays outfield with Jason, where we were reenacting our inner Dalton Var show. <laughs> our inner George Springer. And last but not least, our inner Kevin Kiermeyer. with a couple of these bloopers as well. It just went over. Another blooper that I had, and don't tell the wife this, but when we were done playing catch in the outfield, guess who just might have lost their wedding ring? And boy, did I ever feel panicked. So I started to look all over the outfield where I might have dropped it for 10 minutes or so before realizing that the ring that signifies my marriage had just gotten stuck in the inner lining of my baseball glove. And boy, was I ever relieved. But yeah, a big thanks once again to Jason. Oh yeah. <laughs> who gave me the opportunity today to live out my dreams playing outfield for the Toronto Blue Jays. But moving on, after parting ways for the evening, I decided to take the baby Rouge out in the evening rain, bringing her to the St. Joseph Parish in Scarborough for Sunday evening mass. And do you guys remember this scene from a previous Laugh From Last Week episode? Earlier, I wanted to make this journey for this Facebook Marketplace posting to buy this Blue Jays alternative cap that they wear. But unfortunately, this listing was all the way out in Ajax. Well, after mass, since this Facebook Marketplace ad dropped in price over the past few days, I made my way all the way to Ajax to buy this brand new Blue Jays alternate cap to add to my collection. Anyways guys, I'm gonna wrap it up and motorcycle back to Scarborough before it starts raining again and the wife gets home from spending some time with her friends in Koreatown. This morning, after catching this beautiful sunrise over the city of Toronto and dropping off the wife to work for her day shift, although I should be trying to catch up on the lack of sleep that I've missed over the past half week, I'm back at a place that I haven't been to since, I believe, last year. 
to do a nice morning walk around getting loose and warmed up because honestly i'm feeling pretty old and pretty sore from all the showboating activities that we did in the outfield yesterday and speaking of being on the beach one of my beach volleyball buddies rob just like he did last year had posted a promo for concert week through live nation showcasing concert tickets for only 25 bucks all in for this upcoming summer so i'm hoping that by the time this episode comes out both you and i will be able to take advantage of this deal and check out some concerts together for the 2023 summer season thanks again rob and while we're on the topic of sharing good news we have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today with the first birthday shout out going out to one of my wysick friends who i'm remembering was a ca during her time there this birthday greeting goes out to you bethany happy birthday bethany the next birthday greeting goes out to one of my former roommates who I'm remembering playing mini golf with in the dorm and who I'm hopeful to visit in Winnipeg sometime in the near future. This birthday shout out goes out to you Jeffers. Happy birthday Jeff. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. But yeah, on top of that, we also have some more good news to share with you guys today. Inspired on how my buddy Jason brought me to the Blue Jays Fan Fest yesterday. Oh, we are on the field. On the field. <laughs> Woo. I just wanted to pay this good gesture forward. Recalling how a couple weeks back at the Dome, there's this Blue Jays jersey giveaway for the George Springer jersey. Well, if any of y'all are interested, I'll be giving away one of these George Springer Blue Jays alternative jerseys to one of my lucky Jaywalker POV viewers out there. All you guys have to do is like and share this video, whether it be on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram, and put the comment below of hashtag Let's Go Blue Jays, and we'll draw one lucky viewer to win this amazing giveaway. But yeah, since you guys made it all the way to the end of this episode, and before I go in for another morning badminton session with the cousins, we'll just wrap up this week's episode right here. So if you guys have enjoyed what we've been watching, feel free to follow Jaywalker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jaywalker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live from Last Week.